Hey, Aaron Stell here with WFG National Title. Wanted to create a quick video and show you two ways that you can easily connect with your clients. And by clients, I mean people that are actually in your phone or in your database on Facebook. And I guess that's Instagram as well if we're going through the ads manager. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go through the business side. So I'm gonna click on the little circle here on the top right. And I am going to go over to my how to be stellar page which will bring me over to the business side and get me away from my personal profile. Now, if I want to upload somebody into my group, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take you one way that I think is the easiest. So I'm gonna jump into the meta business suite over here on the left. And if I scroll down just a little bit on this left side to where it says all tools and click on that, I can then scroll down here and you can see where it says audiences. So I'm gonna click right here on audiences. And what this is going to do is it's going to load up the ads manager and it's going to show me the different audiences I have. And what I want to do is I want to create a custom audience. And the reason being is I am looking to get over to this section right here where it says customer list. So these are the people that we have exported out of either our database, our phone, our email, or wherever they're coming from. Now, to get started, uh, you can download their file template, which will show you exactly what they have. And basically what we're looking at is we're going to look at something that looks very similar to this page right here. So what we're going to have here is we are going to have multiple email columns, multiple phone columns, first name, last name, uh, zip code, city, state, country, date of birth, if you have that. So basically any of this information you have is something that Facebook can use to then target these people. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm just going to click next. And they'll ask me if I have this customer value. Uh, it will be in their template, but you're not going to have this. Um, so this is something where they get it traditionally from like a pixel or they'll get it from someplace, not where you download this. So I'm gonna say, no, I do not. And I'm going to just grab that file I just showed you and drag it up here. And you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call this test file. And I'm going to click next. And notice here, these are all mapped. That's because I'm using their template. If not, you'll have to go through and click and change to whatever you want. But you'll want to scroll down through here and make sure that as many of the columns as possible are green, if not all of them. And then I'm gonna say import and create. And one thing to note is this is not necessarily instantaneous, especially if you have a large list in regards to matching. So right now this says ready because it's just a little test file with nothing on there, um, but it will say ready. It can say not ready or not available and it can take a little while before you actually do uh, get into the ability to use this for your ads. So now if I go back to, um, if I go back over here to my thing, I can say create ad which is going to once again, go to my ads manager. And you can say, what do I want to do? Do I want to create, you know, send traffic to my website? Do I want to get messengers? Do I want to do something else? Or if you don't want to do this at all, you can even go back to your meta business suite here, which I'm going to go to home. And I can say, all right, I want to go into my ads on the left, create an ad. And once again, you can decide what you want to do. Let's say I want to boost a post. Um, let's just use this post about refresh, the WFG refresh event we just had. Um, there's a couple of things that you do need to make sure. So right here, I can tell I'm in the wrong ad account because I uploaded to this. So I'm going to click on the right ad account. So this top right thing can be important. So when I go down here to get into who I want to advertise to, I'm going to go custom audiences. Notice that ad or that test account that I just did is not up there yet, but the farm area audience that I have done in the past, so notice I have a farm area and a test audience is there. So it will just take a little time to get there, um, but I can just go through and now boost that post out to those people. Um, the farm area is another really small one. That's why it's pulling that up. Usually for this to work, you do want to have at least, you know, say 100 people, maybe more. Uh, that will be a little easier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. But that shows you how to go through, grab the file template. You can then paste and or copy and paste your people in there, 
upload it into Facebook, then run an ad to those people. Now I want to show you one more thing that I think is, you know, rarely used or at least missed quite a bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my phone and I'm going to go to the Facebook app. Okay, this is a second piece that oftentimes people uh, did not activate because they were worried that Facebook was basically going to snooping on their data. But it does allow you to immediately be connecting with people that are in your phone. So when you meet a client, it will at least throw them up there as a suggested contact. So what we're gonna do is we are going to click on the little menu button on the very bottom right that has your photo. And then on the top right, we are going to click on the little gear next to the magnifying glass. Once we get into this portion, you can then say, go to profile and settings with my name. And I'm going to scroll down until it says upload contacts. And I have actually had this off. And most of us did when we first set it up because we didn't want uh, Facebook getting into our phone. However, if you're trying to connect with your new people, big brother smart enough already, I'm going to go ahead and allow this. And I'm going to say continue. And what will happen is it will start to upload all of the contacts from my phone into Facebook letting Facebook know that I should also be connected with these people. And so it may take a little time, but there you go. Here are all the people in your phone. I can now scroll through these and add anyone I want. So just another way to connect them on a personal level. Thought that was interesting and hope that helps. So now you have the business way and the personal way.